Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the Turd Boy. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the Turd Boy. In our today's video, we will multiply polynomials. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here the topic multiplying polynomials. And we are given the direction, find the product of the following polynomials. So in this first part of our video, we have five different examples wherein in number one, number two, and number three, we're actually multiplying monomial to another monomial. And for item number four and number five, we have here a monomial to be multiplied by a binomial. Same with number five. And sa next part ng ating video, we'll multiply tayo ng binomial to binomial. So let's start with number one. 4x squared and 5x cubed. So how are we going to find the product or to multiply 4x squared and 5x cubed? Ang basic na step-by-step -step process dito, guys, is um, una mo lang may multiply dito yung numbers. You have 4 times 5. Or yung kanilang numerical coefficient. And next na dyan ay yung kanilang variables. So in adding the variable, or in multiplying the variables, first you need to copy the variable which is x. And then add their exponents. So this is 2 plus 3. So, yung pinapakita ko sa inyo ngayon guys ay yung step-by-step -step process on how to multiply um, a monomial to another monomial. So, multiplying 4 and 5, this will give us a product of 20 and copying the variable x tapos yung exponent niya is 2 plus 3, this will give us the product of 20x raised to 5. This is the product when you multiply 4x squared and 5x cubed. Pero kung sanay ka na mag-multiply ng monomials, ang gagawin na naman dito is you need to multiply 4 and 5, that is 20. And if you have x squared times x cubed, simply copy the, the variable and add 2 and 3. This will give us the product of 20x to the fifth power. So let's move on with item number 2. In item number 2, we are asked to find the product of negative 2, a raised to 3, so I'm using another variable instead of x, that is possible, times negative 3, a to the 4th power. First, multiply their coefficients. Negative 2 times negative 3, since meron silang same sign, that is equal to positive 6 or 6. And as for the exponent, copy your variable a, and then add 3 and 4. Therefore, the product of these two monomials is equal to 6 a raised to 7. I hope that sa first two examples natin, nakuha mo na agad yung concept on how to multiply polynomials. Now let's move on with item number 3. For item number 3, we are given x y squared and x cubed y to the 4th power. So how are we going to multiply these two monomials if we have two different variables? Una, ilocate mo muna which variables are the same. So we have x and x. So yung x mo, copy your x and add the exponents. The exponent of this variable x is invisible 1. So we have your 1 plus the exponent of the other variable x in the other monomial which is 3. So 1 plus 3 times the second variable, which is y, add their exponents, which is 2 plus 4. Simplifying their exponents, this will give us the product of x raised to the fourth power, y raised to 6. And this is the answer for item number 3. Okay? So I hope na nakuha nyo na to on how to multiply monomial to another monomial. Now, let's move on with item number 4. In item number 4, in our case here, we are given a monomial outside the parentheses and a binomial inside the parentheses. So, sir, the question here is how are we going to multiply these two polynomials? We will use the distributive property. 
In this distributive property, we will simply distribute or multiply one by one two to the terms of the binomial inside the parentheses. So what will happen here is first multiply two by two x, and we know that the product of two and two x is equal to four x. Second, applying the distributive property, multiply two to y. So 2 times y, that will give us the product of 2y. Therefore, our answer here in item number 4 is 4x plus 2y. So, getting away natin on how to use a distributive property. Now, let's move on with item number 5. For item number 5, we are given here a monomial, which is 6x to the 5th power. And the other polynomial is a trinomial. So x, sorry, 5x squared minus 7x minus 1. Since meron tayo itong tatlong terms or trinomial, tatlong beses natin yung multiply si 6x raised to the fifth power. Here, multiplying 6x to the fifth power by 5x squared, multiply mo lang yung 6 and 5, so ganito siya. Papahabay natin ng konti, 6 times 5. And then as for the exponent, copy your variable x. And other exponents, we have 5 plus 2. And for the second one, we have 6x. So, pwede simplify na natin to guys. Eh? For this term, this will give us 30. Kasi 6 times 5 is 30. Ito naman, copy your x. And then add exponents 5 and 2, that is 7. And for this one, 6 times negative 7, that is negative 42. For the variables naman, since para sila mayroong variable x, copy your variable x and then add your exponents. This is 5 and we have here an invisible 1. So 5 plus 1, that is x raised to 6. And lastly, we will multiply 6x to the 5th power by negative 1. And since this one is negative, it will only give us minus 6x to the 5th power. At ito yung mismo sagot natin or product natin for item number 5. And guys, so in the next part of our video, I will give you more examples wherein we will use um, FOIL method. So let's continue the second part on how to multiply the polynomials. So we are given here in number 6, x minus 3 times x plus 2. Actually, kung mapansin nyo guys, itong polynomials natin ay binomial and a binomial. So in this case, uh, we will be using the FOIL method. Pag sinabi natin FOIL method guys, review lang tayo. Pag sinabi natin FOIL method, FOIL ah, FOIL. This is your FOIL. Okay. Yung F natin is for the first terms. Your O stands for the outer terms. Yung I natin is for the inner terms. And lastly, yung L natin ay para sa last terms. So, I think if follow natin, on how to multiply a binomial to another binomial. So let's start with this one again. The quantity of x minus 3 times x plus 1. So following the FOIL, FOIL method, first terms muna tayo. First terms of these two binomials in which we will multiply first x times x. And we know, applying the loss of exponents, x times x is simply x squared. So we are done with letter F, first terms. Next, outer terms. So yung terms na sa gilid ng ating expression. So we have x times 1. x times 1 is equal to plus x or positive x. Next, after O, we have I, which is the inner terms, in which ito siya. Negative 3 times x. That is negative 3x. 
Last one, we have negative 3 for the last terms. So we have negative 3 times positive 1. This will give us a product of negative 3. And don't forget to simplify your answer by combining like terms. Kung ano notice niyo guys, yung positive x natin and negative 3x are considered like terms. So we can combine them. So x minus ex, that is negative 2x, and simply copy your x squared minus 3. And this is the product between the given two polynomials. Okay, so that is the FOIL method. Now let's move on with item number 7. So meron na tayong coefficients for the first term. Pero kaya kaya. You have 5x plus 2 times 7x minus 2. So applying the FOIL method, don't be confused. Ito yung ating first terms. 5x times 7x, that is 35. And then x times x, x squared. Followed by 5x times negative 2. This will give you negative 10. And then copy the variable x. Inner terms, 2 times 7x, that is plus 14x. Last terms, you have 2 times negative 2, that is negative 4. And then combine this 2, kasi like terms sila. You have to copy this one, 3x squared, oh sorry, 35x squared. And this one, this is plus 4x minus 4. And this is the product of the two given binomials in item number 7. So I hope na natuto kayo sa mismong session natin on how to multiply polynomials. We're in, uh, we discuss on how to multiply monomial to monomial, monomial to binomial, and binomial to binomial. So if you want to watch the other video sa series natin on how to do operations on polynomials, inalagay ko sa ating description box yung mga link ng video natin meron tayo. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gorn. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye! -bye.